I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, buddy? Edward. Hello. How you doing? Big day for Big me. Big day. Big day for us. Psyched. All right. So when we came up with the show, Working Class Holes, uh, Ed and I knew each other because of this one guy. And this one guy keeps coming up on the show. And in fact, before even being a guest, he made it into a full reel of the show. <laughs> He's known by a lot of names. He's known by, what do you call him? Oh, my stinky friend? It's your stinky friend? <laughs> He's known by Zachy Peanuts. He's known by Zachy Two Molly. <laughs> Without having any further ado, the working class old legend, Zachy Peanuts. Oh my oh, God, dude. <laughs> you a, I'm happier in a pig of shit right now, dude. I'm so happy. Zachy, what is your worst day job? Oh my God. Uh, I think I'm currently living it. Uh, <laughs> no, I've had a lot of... I don't know. We have a lot of ammo today. Yeah, no, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, this might be a two-parter. Like, I've I, had every shit job possible. I worked for uh, mostly restaurants, I would say. I was a butcher during the pandemic at a local butcher shop. That was brutal. You look like a butcher. Yeah, well, you know. It, you always had jobs that you look like you should have except for high, like high dining. Which fine dining, I still, but Ed. Oh, but I you're saw great at a, fine dining. The the best was I stopped by to see you at the fine dining place, and uh, the chef jacket that you had on like was like a tablecloth. <laughs> When you walked up, I was his name on it. His <laughs> permanent markers. It's when I was huge, though. You were like, yeah. so nuts. big. You were so big. <laughs> and nuts. And Too was, <laughs> there is something about a chef's jacket that is so like unattractive. Oh, we used to call it the brown paper bag. Like it looks like we were a bunch of like lunch sacks. Well, it's like a wetsuit when you're like kind of out of shape. You ever seen a guy kind of out of shape in a wetsuit? Yeah. It just pronounces his gut and his. It sucks his dick in, so it looks like a. I would say those jackets are more like a tent. It's like so if you don't fit, (laughs) if you don't fit the like the the large or the like the extra large, the one that they give you is the all sizes. They give you the Vito (laughs) Spatafor. I was yeah before, way before. Did you hear what I said, T? No, fucking uh, no. Dirty chef fights. My friend, he'll suck the stains out. (laughs) Yeah. No, it was it was brutal, and I would steal jackets like every other day because I would forget mine. <laughs> Where are these jackets? They're just hanging up. <laughs> they're, they're, just hang- they're lining a like uh, uh, dry cleaners. A refugee oh, no, camp is using them. The migrants in New York City are using them to live under. <laughs> That's I probably people uh, are using uh, them as a John Candy <laughs> used it as a sail to win the regatta. Yeah. <laughs> Quit playing with your dinghy. (laughs) Oh my god! Yeah, no. So uh, I think the uh, I think the worst one I ever had. I worked at PJ Clark's in the city. I think I remember this job. Yeah, yeah, my office was near there. I don't want to say where I work, but everyone knows I work at an office. But I don't want to say the company. No, no, you didn't say anything. But yes, you worked above it. I'll take care of it. All right, cool. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, PJ Clark's, and it was on the Hudson, and uh, Comic got me the job, and they quit literally the day I got hired. Do you That's remember? always the best when you get a referral. There was one down by Battery Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I was. It's down. when he had the long hair too. Yeah, yeah, yeah longer yeah, hair yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, you look like a guy straight off the boat working there. Yeah, I used no, to yeah. call there, right? Yeah. You yeah. could call there and ask for Zach. Yeah. And it would like, <laughs> and my whole day would be like fucked because like I'd be in the weeds. And like I knew nothing, right? I had, I had just gotten fired from a Michelin star Spanish restaurant because New Year's Eve day, I didn't show up for brunch because I was out with you idiots. Oh, that's you, right. Probably you. Yeah, you're out with me. Yeah. And you were like, you're going to make it. You're going to do it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to make it. No. Did not oh, make yeah, it. Yeah. No, not even close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I get there at noon. That's we were supposed right. to open at 11. Like with me. At least. I was supposed to be there at 10.30. I got there at noon. And I get there, and it doesn't look like anything's too bad. The kitchen guys are all going about their business. Like, I might have got away with this, right? So I look, and I go into open table, and I find the reservations. And there was one 10 top at 11. And I just deleted it. <laughs> I was just like, that didn't happen. So when they show up. No, they, they, they already came and went. Because oh. it was noon. I opened the restaurant an hour late. And I just, I like. I'm in like. The, oh, you mean by open? You mean unlocking the front door? 
Oh yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Michelin star restaurant. <laughs> Michelin star restaurant. And I think I get away with this. Like I'm like doing the Zach P thing. Like, hey, a little yeah. delete here. What I fucked up, I would and then I started to make myself a martini because I was fucking hammered. I was like, I'm getting fired anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, insult to injury, so I'm gonna like, mix myself a yeah, drink. Yeah. yeah. I was like, if I'm going out, you know, I might yeah. as, if I'm walking on ice, I might as well dance. Yeah. So I, I sit there and I do the thing and uh, and um, I go into Open Table, which is the uh, hosting app, right? Like for yep. reservations. Yeah. And I just delete it. And I'm like, I got away with it. My my cover comes in at like 12:15, and they're like, anyone come in yet? I was like, no, no, I didn't see anyone. Didn't tell any anybody anything. The kitchen guys all know I fucked up, but they like are my boys. Yeah. They're like laughing their ass off. And so I, who served these people? No one served them. They just they, they showed up. They showed up at eleven. I didn't get walked there till away. twelve. Oh, so they. Oh my god. They're like the so, restaurant's closed. So were they banging uh, on the glass and shit? So this is how I got caught. <laughs> I should have checked the phone messages. Oh, oh yeah. they called and they were like, "This is ridiculous," da, 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 da. and it was a whole thing like that. And yeah, so like the next, I I, I got two more shifts in, and Before then I got finally... a call. And it was like, "Hey, Zach, uh, we just got to talk to you. Can you come over to the other restaurant?" It was like right across the street. I was like, "Yeah, sure." I knew it was happening. Do it over the phone. Yeah, just like so. I come in and they're like, "What did I say? Yeah, what so... did I say to you? Never talk on the phone." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at this. Look at this. Never talk on the phone. What did oh. I tell you? Hold Outside hold line. Phone. Outside line. <laughs> Fucking all these years, what I've been telling you, <laughs> but I think you can beat it. <laughs> no, you can't. I was that close. I was that. I, I had the balls to ask for a reference. Uh, <laughs> I was. It was like in Tommy Boy when he's like, "Do you validate?" <laughs> After he burnt down the guy's car, I was like, "So um, no hard feelings, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they no were big like, deal. They were like, they, they, and they were pussies. So like, they were like, "No, absolutely." Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a That's reference. A oh, yeah, right. yeah. So I, so I'm like, I've been unemployed for about a month and a half. You remember this? I was down on my luck, like really yeah. bad. Like yeah. I was, I thought I was gonna have to leave New York bad. And I get this job at PJ Clark's, and immediately they're just fucking up my ass. Like, well, that's a really busy location because I, I mean, came and saw you once yeah. or twice, well, whatever. I eventually got really good at that job. But, but it's high volume and it's all a lunch happy hour crowd because yeah. all of those businesses in Brookfield Place, I mean, they have yeah. Especially in the and all. Oh, oh my God. My God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that job was crazy because they would hire a bunch of J1s uh, from Ireland, the travel visas. So oh, all these right. college kids from Ireland came in that summer after I got hired and I just partied with them all the time and they were constantly calling out because they were too hammered and stuff. Uh, most in a theme in your life, yeah. Zach, for our <laughs> listeners, they don't know. What, what's that? What? Partying uh, <laughs> and you hard. working <laughs> seem to be at, at odds with one another. I'm, I'm a reformed partier. Uh, <laughs> or reformed. I forgot I, to show up to a few parties. <laughs> I'd say reshaped. Yeah, yeah, reshaped. That's right. Reshaped. Yeah, reshaped. Dropped reshaped. a couple pounds. Reshaped. I don't know about you reform. Are resh- you are reshaped. My friend. You look great. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, well, yeah. So that would be your worst day job solely because I mean, of volume. I can. Okay. No, no. Hey, come just, on. No, we got not sp- even just volume. Should I bring up the hey. spreadsheet that hey. Josh and I were passing back? And Dude, forth? Oh. we got five off the come top on. of my head already. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go you ahead, guys Ed. got a better. You got a good one. Helping you move. Oh, that's oh well. That's Into. not a day job. I that thought. was a day job. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a day job. I didn't think it was. Dude, you say, were gonna dude, live there. Ed. Uh, yeah. Oh, Ed, oh, Ed, say oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the pool hall. That was a great job. Ed, Ed, Ed. <laughs> Free room Zach? and board. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> we gotta. Yeah. T- this is so good. Go. Ahead. <laughs> so this is the story. I'm gonna give the story of my. Well, hold on. Let me just it. give context. This pool hall because you weren't there as much as I was with Zach. Right. So Zach <laughs> during the pandemic hit it like hit the lottery pandemic wise. With this amazing pool hall that no longer exists, he was close with one of like the family members of the, the owners, owners yeah. and they were like, "Yeah, dude, do a show here." And it was the only indoor show right when they started letting people inside during the pandemic that you could really find. It was huge. Uh, got a write up. He got yeah, a write up. Yeah, yeah. UNS magazine. All he that was stuff, yeah. and Zach was like flying high. He was like the only game in town around here, and the drinks were flowing. We. That was probably the height of my alcoholism with 100%. that era. We drank because there was nowhere to go. It was like we go to the pool hall, yeah, or nowhere because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it was like all like people were coming in that usually wouldn't come in, attractive people, not just like a pool hall bunch. And it was like flying high for a minute. So Zach was like the man at this pool hall. Fast forward to. Ed, go ahead. So it maybe like six months later? I guess the show is it, defunct. It was, it was, was it a year well, later? It, when everything opened up, the show, they couldn't do the, the show anymore. Yeah. They it didn't work. Yeah, it right. didn't work like, anymore. Because like, the thing is with that show, like we tried to doll it up as much as we could, but 
it's a fucking pool hall. Yeah. Like you're just hearing, it's like doing it in a bowling alley. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah I mean? exactly. It's like you can hear the strikes. You have to invest. <laughs> in, I mean, it was doable, but it's in a, it's in deeper Astoria. So you'd have to get the people in the hood to go. The, the, the mean but story yeah, was yeah, like there yeah, was like yeah. a couple of arcade games like in the room like yeah. people would there play. was like, well, yeah air, air hockey, <laughs> air hockey if, you, but if you sunk a grand into your own money into there to get the proper bar- soundproof barricades and a makeshift door and a little stage and a little sign and a good light you had a good show yeah you, it's no different than the pair where they would blast the music right before they got the real doors it was better than that yeah. So it could have been done if you had the resources and the yeah. The but they weren't the into that. They, but they didn't want. They that. didn't want. They that. just you wanted were a dumbass act. You, you <laughs> wanted, no, but they no. stuck with the show for a long time. I don't they think they, no. they. I didn't think they wanted to make it. I uh, like. They didn't want to get rid of the if air he was, hockey table. No, no. no but if he was, there was, there was he blocked it off once yeah. with a curtain. Like he put a curtain yeah, up. Yeah, but the sound was so. I mean, yeah. you couldn't, but you weren't allowed to play it during the show. <laughs> yeah, remember those. Remember the first those, few shows, yeah, the big guy fucking. Remember, remember all those, those Serbian puck dudes? Flies in front of a guy doing jokes. <laughs> you remember the Serbian dudes that would get pissed about foosball, though? They'd be like, when oh, can we play no, foosball? Really. <laughs> and I was like, well, we have a fucking show going on, gents. And they're like, sitting there like, I understand, but foosball. Uh, yeah, I bet <laughs> they I bet they have like cut each other's fingers off over foosball oh, games. Dude. I bet oh, it's, it's a serious a business. Gambling. I yeah, found yeah, out yeah. that they were all those like Greeks... Moldovian and Serbian and stuff. Oh, yeah. So when they found out I was Serbian, they were like, oh, you're our boy. I would like see them at gas stations and shit. They'd be like, funny man. Yeah. <laughs> like the most like, like in the neighbor in the neighborhood. You know, like <laughs> just running into people at gas stations, <laughs> body shops. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, why are you running into all these people in body shops? Uh, yeah, I used to see you around a gas station <laughs> back in the day. Zach's just hanging out at the BP by Gaudios. It's a fucking that's a hang yeah. right. around the back, yeah. <laughs> down and in, down. Uh, in. All right, tell a story. So now. I get this call. <laughs> Frantic. It's a, it's a Saturday morning. I'm out with my dog. I get this call from Zach. Yo, dude. And that has a whole life. He has a wife, a wife, dog. Yeah, right. He's taking the dog yeah. to what? The Marshlands? I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in the <laughs> middle of like oysters, cloisters, cloisters with the dog. I get this. I get this call. Hey, what are you doing today? Cloisters. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, dude. You know, I'm just like out with the dog. Join my life, yeah, man. Right. What my you, dog. Why? What's up? I can hear it in his voice. Like, what? I'm like, oh, what's up? He goes, uh, can you help me move? I'm like, sure. When? Now, <laughs> <laughs> only Zach E. Tumali uh, wants you to I'm move like, him what? at 11 a.m. And you could tell he just woke up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't call you the night before. No text. No, no. How soon can you get here? <laughs> like a guy whose bitch just kicked him out. <laughs> I'm related to a lot of guys. Who are like, uh, I just packed my shit up. He <laughs> come pick me up. Bitch kicked me out. <laughs> but it, the plot thickens, doesn't oh, it? Oh my god, the bitch the kicked me out. This the, is just. I'm like. And I'm just like this. I'm like, dude, I'll be there when I get there. Like, I'm just, I'm not rushing over. To, I get there and uh, Zach's out front. He's sitting out front smoking a grit. <laughs> with just trash bags. <laughs> <laughs> Is there trash day right here? The trash, trash day was Monday. Bags. I'm the trash man. I take the trash. And I throw it around the That's ring. Zach's luggage. He's smoking a heater. <laughs> and he's sitting on an office chair. <laughs> No, no, I'm not taking this. This is trash. No, he no, goes, no, this, he trash. goes, this is going in my car. I need you to take I need you to take these sheets. And he's got just a pile of sheets. I'm like, no, I'll take the chair. You take these you soiled your sheets. fucking soiled laundry can go in your car. Unbagged. And a piece of shit. So this is, the, I can't stand the smell of this or the look of it. You'll take this. I've been looking at this six, seven months now. So you got to take this. I'm going to drop 25 loads into this pile here. I'm going to put that in your car. <laughs> he's sitting in the chair waiting. Like, since 11 a.m., he's been sitting in that chair smoking cigarettes. Like, 50 butts are on the chair. <laughs> oh, God. So then, so then we, we split it. We divvy it all up. We drive over. Divvy it all divvy up. It all up. <laughs> like the tip bucket. <laughs> The tip bucket of misery. I get 20, you get 10. I get 20, you get 10. <laughs> I'm taking the tolls out of this yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we pull up to the uh, pool to hall. The, to the pool hall where Zach is now. He's going to be staying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you pull up and you're like, so is it 
Why, are we here to get a drink? <laughs> are we here to shoot a game of pool? <laughs> Why are we here? So the, I guess the, the pretense when I got in the car was we're dropping some stuff off at the pool hall. Like storage, just yeah, storage. Ed. I'm dropping some it stuff. It was kind of like my bada bing. Can we at least? <laughs> right, you wait till you speak, all right? I'm so glad I came on. This is great. You're going to speak in a second. This is a roast. <laughs> I love this. My God. How long have you guys been waiting for this day? So we start. Uh, well, we talked. We've been passing notes back. Yeah. Right? So, Zachy, uh, hey, so what do we talk about? <laughs> I gotta, it's got to be my stinky friend. <laughs> we didn't even get that. Stinky <laughs> friend. Stinky. All right. So you're like. I'm going to get some storage in there. And he's like, okay, yeah, so cool, we're going to go in. in. And he goes, uh, let me run in first. <laughs> I get that move. <laughs> so now I'm just standing by the car. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. He comes back. He's like, all right, cool. Let's go. He opens I'm the door. Like, he gives and the then all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. And then uh, now we're just walking in and wheeling an office chair, which is. Back to trash. And people to play trash. His possessions. The old guys, the old times oh, yeah, yeah. are playing Those Greek cool guys too. played from like 11 a.m. Yeah. till midnight. It used to be at 24. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Here's the best part about that is me pushing this chair behind Through Zach. the, not service entrance. <laughs> no. Through the entrance. The there was only one entrance. <laughs> to the front door of the place. And, and they're just, all, they all stared at us anyways when you weren't Greek. And watching Zach walk through like, hey, I own this <laughs> fucking place. That fucking broad <laughs> shoulders just, <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's just like, it's like Henry hey. Hill walking into the fucking <laughs> cabana. Like, he's like, just like, hey, how you doing? He's like slipping fucking dollar bills. <laughs> 50 cent pieces. I was broke. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, every room Zach's in, he's the mayor. He's literally moving his belongings <laughs> into a pool hall. And he, you, you to live. Think he fucking walked in there uh, like he was on Billionaire's Row. So now he's <laughs> now he's like shooting the ship, chopping it up with this girl behind the counter and I go yeah where are we going with this shit <laughs> he's so fucking disrespectful your whole life's been put on hold for this guy he's yeah. trying to get some pussy while you're holding all his trash <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> dude, what's that? Yeah, you try to fuck, fuck this chick doing? later. <laughs> I'm holding all your trash. <laughs> you shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know when you say it like that. <laughs> See, like I had a totally different version of this story. It's like I, my I friend Ed like really, ba- <laughs> friend Ed really bailed me out. Yeah. And then we had we had a really great breakfast, <laughs> laughed about some shit. <laughs> That's how I thought. Like, this is why, I, yeah. <laughs> So right. so now we go. Zach's like, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get the yeah. Let's get this. I'll be back. And now later. I know why. And he gives. He gives like, I'll be back later, sweetheart. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't wait a bit. You don't go nowhere. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm a real piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we go into the back room. The back, oh yeah. So you go the deeper. Storage. It's place is huge. You go huge. deeper in the bowels of it. So the past the comedy room. Yes. Yeah. All the way past the game rooms. There's like the auxiliary comedy air hockey room. Yeah. And then there's like this uh, door that leads out to and it's know, great just wide open. Cases of yes, beer it's and huge it's storage. Like, yeah, it's like a, a pool hall yeah. storage area. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like kind of chaos. And I'm wheeling this thing, and I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. It smells I like piss because the bus boys and like the kitchen people, they would just go back there, smoke grits, and then piss on the floor. Oh wow! Instead of like pissing in the bathroom, yeah, because it was filthy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Remember yeah, like that was, real was, heavy piss smell? I didn't know where that was coming from. I didn't realize. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> call him A, call him B, but you know, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> oh my God. It's funny because you're going to tell this story and I have one that you were there for uh, in the village that's well, let's, let's similar to yeah, Stinky. Let's, no, let's I got finish this. So Zach's like, <laughs> Zach's like, all right, we're just going to take these bags upstairs, leave the chair down here. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. And we go up these stairs and it is like an at, like it's going up into like, I'm like, is there just insulation up here? You know what I mean? Like you're expecting yeah, yeah, this yeah. little stairwell yeah. that we go up. and It's, it's a th- crevice. You're looking at like a crawl space possible. And I go, I go, what, what is this? He goes, this is the, uh, this is the room. I'm like, well, so it went from storage. I'm like, this is. So where now he here. breaks it to you. It's the this room. This is where I'm staying. I'm like. So now you know why he's delaying the process. This is this is where you're moving into, and I get real quiet. I'm like, this is going. Okay, this so gone, it's gone a, from funny <laughs> to like. Oh, so Ed's a bleak. former crackhead. <laughs> Ed's a former full blown crackhead you guys are saying that is looking at your living situation he's moving you into and saying this is worrisome i was going up the steps and i'm seeing just how narrow this stairwell is and i'm like i could see the door the room i'm like 
are you even going to fit all these bags in there? The bags of trash that you have here. <laughs> and we open the door and we walk in and there's a little, like, I can only describe it as a race car bed. Yeah, it no, it's like exactly a child's yeah. race car bed. Yeah. It was really small. It was smaller than a single. Like, yeah. It was like it was, it was a like, child's bed. It was yeah. a child's bed. Not a real mattress, <laughs> just a piece of like foam. Yeah. And on it is a small Mexican man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> The guy was in there. Oh my god! I, I can't even tell you the like the jaw drop that happened when and I he walked fits in. Fits perfectly because he's like straight from the depths of Mexico. Yeah. He's like four eight. It was perfect for him. Yeah, absolutely. it was like jockey or short order cook. But there's there's <laughs> one bed and he's sitting on it and and Zach comes in and I'm like. And I'm watching this happen. I'm like, okay, what's going on right now? And then I hear like, yeah, so you, what do you work on Thursdays? Because I, uh, I got Fridays. And I'm like, okay, they work together. <laughs> and, the and then Zach's like, I'm just watching. I'm just like taking in the data. And then, and then I see Zach go, yeah, so I'm going to put my stuff over here. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is his roommate. <laughs> They gotta take bed shifts. There's only one bed. Hey man, finding a rental in New York. You know, <laughs> oh, I should have paid the broker. The thought oh, of that bed God. being warm oh. from the, the oh. Mexican dude oh. sleeping in it. They're like, oh, thanks for keeping it warm. It's like it's like a Moby Dick where Quick Quick has to share a bed with that dude. <laughs> They just are holding each other at night. I like the idea of Zach getting in that bed and like, but the only thing he does is flip the pillow. <laughs> the race car bed. <laughs> Dude. So, and then I'm just like, I'm when I put it all together, I'm like, and then they're still talking shop. Like, yeah, yeah, because Thursday's been busy. Yeah. <laughs> they're so, doing that. I was, and I go like this. I go. Yo, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I'm Where am I putting <laughs> your bags of trash? What's happening? And he's like, yeah, 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 all right, yeah. And he does the same move he did with the girl downstairs. He's like, all right, I'll talk to you later. To you later. <laughs> so you're the sh he's the short order cook and was living above the kitchen. Uh, head chef, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> I was the live-in head chef. That's okay. That is the quintessential. Zachy to Molly story. See, I oh. kind of forgot about that. Oh. That's that's like a it's PTSD amazing. moment for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember, but you guys would come and eat sometimes. I never you ate. I never ate there. I never ate there. No, but I, I did like how you were doing damage control because Ed and I uh, are really close with Zach. We're really close, Bro like brother close, yeah. but different kinds of brothers to him. And he gets a hold of me after this happens. He tell me like, hey. The race car bed. And I, I, oh, you called him? Well, you know, he didn't know. You just said I moved Zach into a place where you had already told me you were moving there, yeah. which was funny. So you already. had yeah. a different story. Oh, right. That's right. Because we would get it. We would triangulate information. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Zach yeah, yeah. would we leave out bits of pieces for both He wouldn't of us. give us the same stories. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah. I remember like. I never knew you guys I, talked like that. We, not until you started telling me different stories. Bro, <laughs> when you move your friend into a, uh, the upstairs of a pool well, hall. Zach <laughs> and sells, he's got a roommate. You, so yeah. Zach sold, sold me on this like, hey, man. Fucking rent free. Yeah. Up in this room. <laughs> Fucking perfect room. It's all I need. Just the essentials. Move up there. Save some cash. Find another place to be. My pop over. You know, he was like, this was a stop to get to the bigger shit. And then I talked to Ed and I'm like, yeah, he mentioned he was moving in. Like, it was like a nice room or whatever. Like, uh, yeah, there is a race car bed <laughs> that he's sharing with a Mexican short order cook. Oh, Mexican man. <laughs> I mean, just uh, thinking of Zach's feet hanging over that oh bed God. like no, Elf. Oh, hold on, no. Did you Sh sleep on that bed? I did, and that place was haunted. <laughs> <laughs> no, the place was fucking haunted. I forgot no, about that. I don't believe it. He was a Mexican no, dude. I don't. Oh <laughs> the chicken cutlets <laughs> hit you in the face. With him. <laughs> He's like, I want my bed back. <laughs> I gotta get this guy out of here. Get out of me, bed. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. No, the place was fucking haunted. It was haunted. I fucking, dude. I go there, and I'm. I finally, you know, I. I Finally, you got comfortable, I, made it I your just, own. I just get no. I, I just I'm, I'm up. starting to go, go trying, just starting to pass out, right? And I have a blanket on me. And all of a sudden, the blanket goes <laughs> off of me, and I go, "What the fuck!" Like I just start flipping out, and I'm like, "Who's there? Who's there?" Was not drinking, by the way. 
This well, is what I was like. Were you on some other situational? No, no I was off by then. Really? Yeah, Damn. I didn't pick that back up until Pittsburgh. Um, but oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the uh, no, I was like no, but I was like what the fuck, and then I came downstairs. I was like something's up there, and like the Greek guy's like you fucking retard. Like he's like he's like you yeah. found it. You found a beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He was like, you do not to directly engage with the beast. <laughs> did not look directly into his eyes. Yeah, that, <laughs> oh my god, I was terrified. I was like, I, I thought the place was That's haunted. That's my favorite. What's the one you're talking about do that remember, I was there for? Do you remember when I used to get off of PJ Clark's and come down in my shirt and pants and work shoes? Oh, to we like were the, all hanging the out pair? Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all hanging out that night. Yeah. And we're all sitting at a table, and everyone's like. Oh, just the oh god! So <laughs> hold on. To, yeah, go ahead, go. All so right, we're go all ahead. sitting around, and we're and like all of a sudden, like we're drinking, we're having a good time. I'm pretty liquored up, and I'm wearing the PJ Clark's white shirt, black pants, uh-huh. and black shoes. It was a good going out thing. I would get on stage like that every now and then. Oh uh, yeah, you remember, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was like, oh, it, I kind of looked together. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If I didn't like, you know, get bathed in ketchup that day, <laughs> and I mean, it looked like. You just got off your job at a restaurant. <laughs> you talk like it was a tuxedo you had on. <laughs> I look pulled together. <laughs> pulled together for me. <laughs> I mean, we not- all have access to my photos, okay? You guys can see how pulled together I was, okay? Me in a white shirt, tip top oh Magoo. All right, keep going. So Sorry. I fucking. So we're all sitting around, and it's you, it's a couple other people, like bigger namer comics and I'm just like sitting there like and I can start smelling my feet oh. and I'm just sitting there going like I hope to God no one else oh. can smell it no and, okay this is what's great so it's me Corinne Fisher and like a <laughs> bunch of other like oh. we used to all meet up at this one bar we used to love and oh. it was like our bar for two years straight and it was like the hang we yeah. ran into Andre 3000 there it just became like a place where shit popped off so we would get a lot of people from like the cellar and, and yeah. around the village like really well known comedians would just come pop over yeah, and have yeah, a drink right yeah. and we're drinking and I'm smelling his shoes and cause it always starts out those nights it would just be me and Zach for like the first three drinks and then all of a sudden we're already kind of ready to go and 20 people would walk in and then it would become like a whole fucking thing, right? Four, yeah. So I'd already mentioned to him before the people showed up, I was like, your fucking shoes, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, why do they smell like that? He's like, oh, my work shoes. I'm thinking like, what do you do for work? <laughs> fucking walk through the sewers? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins? You're going oh, through chimneys and sorry. sewers and chim chim <laughs> So then Corinne shows up and she looks at me like three drinks in and she's like, what's that smell? <laughs> and I go, hey, don't make a thing out of it. Doesn't doesn't cover for me. But I'm like, it's blows I said it it's up. Zachy's shoes. <laughs> but I only told her. But then out of the blue, everybody forgot it was Zach's shoes <laughs> that smelled like that. You know, Zach's like such like a fall on fuck, give a fuck, but then I'll get kind of sensitive. Oh, yeah. He was so sensitive oh, about his shoes. Oh, I don't I get bet. sensitive. <laughs> what are you fuckers talking about? I've never been sensitive in my life. <laughs> yeah, those are epic. Those shoes were epic oh, shoes. Oh, my God. So, so, so how did that resolve? Did you just stick around or did you leave? I said, no, I think I did leave. You did yeah. not leave. <laughs> That's the best. When this do you my know Zach with Zach our girls? Like, no, I think it. I comedians, think I girls, and drinks. Responsibly. And that's where I was like, <laughs> well, it's, it's, we yeah. were. Josh I was like, spending two hundred dollars a night on drinks. <laughs> we were getting mangled. <laughs> There's no way he's leaving. We were top tier drunk. <laughs> oh my God. God. Uh, Legendary. Wasn't even that expensive. But then, so <laughs> me, so to pay to pay Ed for his services though, uh, when he moved me into. Uh, my uh, one bedroom. Humble the boat. Yeah, my, one my, bedroom. My, my, my studio apartment in Astoria. <laughs> Friend free. Uh, that was a great deal. Uh, we, I took him to uh, the classy one-star diner yeah. up the street. Yeah. And uh, that's when we start realizing that my shoes have once again made a comeback. Oh, bro. Go ahead, Eddie. Dude, <laughs> you stank so bad. I don't know. <laughs> Remember I blamed so, it on the sewer? <laughs> dude, you blame. So you get. I was like, it's sewer gases. And then Zach's only hanging around sewers to make sure you could blame <laughs> his stink on him. <laughs> it was, but it was like your it's whole body. It was like your whole body because what was happening, what I realized, we were in the car. when. So then you left your car at the pool hall and yeah, now I'm driving hall. around yeah. and we go, he's like, yeah, let me buy you lunch. I'm like, all right, cool, fine. Uh, we, <laughs> we get You get in the car and then we're, as we're driving over, I'm like, good God, <laughs> what the fuck? When was the last time you showered? Like, what's going on? 
And then this is the best part about it. I didn't realize this until you left, until I, I was driving home. Until you got out of my until car. Until got out of the car. Because I was in there cleaning it with Windex. <laughs> like an Uber guy who just had someone stink up his car. Five stars. <laughs> I'm spraying it down. And I realized. With what? <laughs> the pandemic lights off. Yeah, yeah. You know it. Good thing I got this I'm, pandemic I'm Lysol. A, I'm on the side of the FDR. I didn't even make it home. I'm just like, I had to pull over on the side of the FDR. I got some stuff in the trunk. I got to get this clean. Your now. fucking houses are on. People are zipping by you 60 miles an hour. That's how bad that. it stinks. Fuck, you put your whole life on the line. Somebody who was in the car the night before had turned on the, the heat. That's oh, so his sweaty ass bacon, was cooking saggy peanuts? Bacon. <laughs> Fucking oh roasting God. me. <laughs> just cooking it up. Just steaming it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, man. And then we're in that diner, the and, I'm, and that kid comes... <laughs> <laughs> This little kid. This little kid. Little kid. He's with his mom. (laughs) Because the way you saw it in the waitress's eyes, like when she (laughs) she took the order, she's like all smiling, and she went. (laughs) (laughs) She just walked away. I forgot about the kid. Somebody. (laughs) This guy fucking stinks. (laughs) And that kid walks by, and he looks at his looks at us, looks at his mom, and looks looks back. I'll never forget that kid's face. And me and Ed were just like, you and your stinky friend. Like, this little kid saying this to us in our head. We make a whole scene for him. He's just like, yeah, but like, just, fuck you. Yeah. Like, yeah, we had to like, use. Did I remember <laughs> when I was a kid <laughs> once, I saw a homeless guy that came to ask for money, and he was naked, and he fell in a bush, and it's never left my head. Oh, wow. That's what this kid's going through. He's... <laughs> He's going to be 43 on some podcast going, oh, I had a safe friend of this guy at a diner once when I was a kid and his smell scarred me for life. He can't eat at diners. <laughs> yeah, he can't eat at diners anymore. No. I hop not. I can't do Denny's <laughs> not. It's too dinery. Denny's. I don't know what it is. Denny's. <laughs> oh, oh Denny's. dude. All right, this is a good Zachy Peanuts. Is it, it, it's all job related because he's always either lost a job from these stories or he's- Or I'm trying to make money. Or he's trying to yeah, make money. Yeah, so this yeah. is all job related stuff. This is a comedy related story. It, it is. Yeah. So I was doing a show in San Diego and my kid was having his first birthday and Zach was like, I want to come out. And Zach does not have access to a lot of funds readily. <laughs> he's <broke>. not broke, <laughs> you know? but he's broke, right? Yeah. Like one day, Zach has $1,000 in his pocket. Yeah. The next day, Zach has no money. Oh, so, somebody $400. <laughs> can't take it with you, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, cool. He's like, yeah, man, I put my flight on layaway. And it's like all the things that people have to do to get somewhere. Zach figures it out, and he doesn't like to fly. I didn't know this. He hey, gets flying. he gets oh, scared that of flying. Oh, flying. That's, That's why I get so drunk on planes. So we figured out a way <laughs> to utilize like <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> he utilizes gift cards to a point on the plane where he fucking is getting Damn, hammered. <laughs> He's buying women drinks on the plane. Uh, with oh no! For he free. had a scheme. So no, I had a scheme. So on Spirit, <laughs> anyone listening. Except for Spirit. <laughs> if you're on Spirit Airlines and you have a prepaid credit card, like an American Express gift card, there could be nothing on it. Or if you have an old canceled card, they can't run it in the air because one, Spirit has the worst. They don't have Wi-Fi. <sighs> and two, they're never going to catch you, right? Because it's like, what, are they going to track it back to your seat? There's no name on those cards. Yeah. There's nothing to run. <sighs> so it could have been anyone in that row. So I would, every time I fly Spirit, I would have like a fucking canceled credit card and I would just buy drinks for the whole row. I'd be like, what do you guys want? What's everyone want? I'd get a cheese platter. Like I would like, I'd be like first class in Spirit. Like that was my whole thing. Didn't you run Uber like that for a bit too? And I I used to have, yeah, yeah. I did have an Uber scheme too. And they don't let you uh, ride No, they just figured it out. Like oh. they, I think there was a. I couldn't have been the only one doing of it. Course. I'm not. I mean, I'm. I'm a pretty intelligent You're criminal. Not a mastermind. Well, yeah, no, that, that was a big g- thing. The, the gift cards. That's always. That's like a high end yes. scam. Uh, yeah. Point. Uh, yeah. People use I used gift to. So to I, yeah. I learned that scam when I started doing red boxes. Back in the day, I would buy brand new video games on red boxes with a fake email. I'd uh-huh. rent out like Call of Duty, and then I'd go trade it in at fucking GameStop. And I would like hit every red box in the area. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, it was greatest. Yeah. It was one of the greatest. You single handedly put Redbox out of business. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I worked. For they a guy would have been Netflix like, if not for Zach. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, fuck Redbox. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he comes to San Diego. He comes for my kid's birthday, and I'm doing a show at the Comedy Store. So he's on that too. 
and he spends some time in LA. He has like this uh, unbelievable trip. We had a great time. We yeah. do the show. The show pops off. I have to leave really early on a flight the next morning. And, you know, we're at the show and he tells me, yeah, I, uh, I got to kill some time before my flights. And I go, what do you mean? He's like, well, you know, I got a flight tomorrow. I can get a hotel for tonight. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess you could be drinking. You know, I, I'm putting it together because I'm also an alky and I'm like, I could probably drink till 2, 3 a.m. somewhere and then just get to the airport a little early, 4 a.m. My flight's at 7, no big deal. I go, what time your flight? At 3 p.m. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I see nothing wrong with this, by the way. I still see nothing wrong with this. So this is how I travel. He's trying to, I'm trying to tell him because we're both getting hammered. And I'm like, dude, I got to bail. And I'm trying to hang in with you till 2. We, yeah. get, we get to closing. Like, I got to get back. Drinking with your family. To my kid. Yeah, I got to get back to my kid and wife and pack my fucking suitcase. So days go by. And finally he's back and we get to catch up. He had been, I said, okay, go to this Mexican food spot. He went to this by neighborhood in Mexico, too. fell asleep. <laughs> they let him sleep for a while. <laughs> then they said, you have to go. So he, he leaves, goes to Denny's, <laughs> sleeps at Denny's, then goes to a movie. Two movies, right? Two movies, yeah, I saw. Uh, at, in the same complex as a movie theater. Yeah. Two movies, then went back to Denny's or no, to the airport. Then I went to the airport. <laughs> oh. But the Denny's was great because like I was like changing because I had all my luggage. <laughs> well, that's right. He brought his luggage. I was like taking a he whore had to bath keep it in the, the green room Denny's. at the comedy store. I'm like, his yeah, because I, I, like, yeah, I had nowhere to go. I was like, because I so I was staying with my buddy in LA. So I came into San Diego, and then we were supposed to have an Airbnb, but like one of my friends didn't have the vax or something. So like this lady just kicked us all out of the. Airbnb. Oh yeah, I remember that part. So okay. that was kind of a fucked thing. And then we had to stay at this kid's house in Ramona. Oh, that's his family. Which is like the middle of bum fuck Oh, nowhere. yeah, it's, it's a country. Yeah, and like this kid was like, he's it talked like this, and he's like, yeah, dude, like my mom makes the best floor beds. We're going to hook you up tonight. <laughs> and I'm like looking at my buddy Chris, and I'm like, dude, this is fucked. And he's like, no, we'll figure it out. And I was like, no, we got to get out of here. This is like, let's just drive back to LA. It's only two hours. Like, I'll drive. All you guys, like, I'm good. He's like, no, nah, we'll see how it works out. So we all end up sleeping in this guy's house. With his parents. His mother. And like, there's just little kids running around too. And no one explains anything. And we're just like hammered drunk. And it's like this little kid like wakes us up in the morning. They're like, you want pancakes? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Just Only in your life. Situation. You, I mean, that you end up in someone's suburban house with numerous <laughs> kid toddlers. And you drunk. <laughs> This is a way cut to you filling your wheelie, uh, your so wheelie I, so, luggage. Yeah, so I end up staying in Denny's. LA. So I, yeah, I end up staying in LA. Do the show. The show was great. Great show. Still one of my favorite shows I've ever done. It was such a great time. Well, the best great... is he's wheeling it into the the green room of the comedy store. And the last time I saw someone roll anything in was Willie Tyler and Lester, and it was his puppet. The puppet. Lester. <laughs> Everyone and I'm like, a puppet what? act. I'm just pulling out sweatshirts. And like, like, you go in there and it's like this. <laughs> it looks like, yeah. like it looks like he's checked the bag. <laughs> as you're doing, like, <laughs> <laughs> and like, I bet if you opened it, it was like four <laughs> crumpled shirts. Like you just could, you knew it was in that fucking luggage. Oh, I know it's in that luggage. I'd move that luggage. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like your suitcase. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I go to Denny's and. They, I like I like I fell asleep in the bathroom because like I didn't want them to catch like on me the sleep. toilet. Yeah, so I brought my luggage in there and like did the homeless naps. <laughs> I, see, I see Zach like put a little do not disturb out, <laughs> yeah. out on the stall. He door. wears like one of those nightcaps with a little like uh, <laughs> the Scrooge, <laughs> the Scrooge, Scrooge nightcap. <laughs> it's like uh, it comes up to the, to the hostess. I'd like to get an early. Just probably get a, possible to get an early check can in. Get early, can I get an Earl Grey uh, check in when I head to the restroom? <laughs> Let's get an Earl Grey tea. I have a gin and tonic of Pims. Uh, <laughs> early check in. So yeah, but I went to the movies. The movie was actually the best idea. That's the best yeah. idea. Uh, oh, by I think far. that's any time I've tried to kill time for anything. If you, if the you way are near go. a movie theater, yeah. that is the pro. Great movie. place to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. air conditioned. The, bu the popcorn refills. bucket's free. Yeah. Oh yeah. Plus you can go from theater to theater. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't have to. Wasn't well, even that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That might be the title of the pod. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't even that we never even explained it. It's like uh, Chinatown. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All Chinatown's yeah, Okay, we, we got to do it fast. But let's, oh, you want to do Pittsburgh? Let's, let's or do you want to do Stevie Nicks at Upstairs Bar? 
No, let's do Pittsburgh. Okay, right, Pittsburgh's right. way more fun because we've okay. already referenced it like 5,000 okay. times. Okay. Right. So we're doing a gig in Pittsburgh, Ed and I, and Zach just had to move back there and he's like kind of bummed. Right? He's, you know, you were bummed. Oh, yeah. you had left New York. Yeah, this is shortly left New after York. the pool hall. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I did two months in the pool hall, thought I was going to save a bunch of money, did not. End up got like, it just fucked me. And then my brother, I was running shows in Pittsburgh at the time. And I was going back and forth. And this is when I was still fighting, too. Oh and my, my brother God. was, like, hammered at a show with us. He's like, let's start a comedy club. Let's get a comedy business going. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. And I'm always hammered. So, like, sure. He wasn't, like, it just didn't pan out, right? Like, I didn't have the resources to help him. And he didn't realize what we were getting into, right? Yeah. And, like, that's no one's fault. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, like, just, yeah, yeah. it happens. But I get out to Pittsburgh. And I'm, like, subletting from some kid in, like, Pitt. And he's like a Buddhist. He's like a white kid Buddhist. Uh, and like I show up. And he up. has uh -huh. the most anti-Buddhist you've ever. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, so where do I put my shit? Yeah, like, Zachy you know, Pina like, shows up with 17 different crucifixes on from yes. different religions. <laughs> <laughs> Lutheran. <laughs> Ser Serbian fucking. Not or Orthodox. <laughs> Catholic. I don't push my beliefs. Don't play this game. I don't care what you fucking heathens believe. All right. Somebody up there looks like me. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but the Buddhist guy is just meditating, and Zach's sweating cocaine from the night yeah, before, and, and cooking food. steaks and lamb and shit. The house smells like. Sla Remember, when Zach slaughtered that lamb for his landlord. I didn't do that. No, I gave him. No, it was a goat. Was oh a, yeah, he gave him a full goat. Guy to, calls me to try to be like, buddies he's with like, him. Hey, can you get me a goat? And I'm like hammered out front of the porch. And I'm like, I can get you a goat. I can get you fucking anything. <laughs> What do you want? You want goat? You want quail? You want half a cow? What do you want? I got this. Hammer. And like this guy would see me. I get you a goat. I can get you a goat. Think I can't get you a goat? I can get you a fucking goat. It's like a Lebowski. So I can even... By like 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 o'clock, I got you a goat. With nail polish. Yeah. <laughs> you need a toe, dude? You need a toe? I get you a toe. So he's like, oh, give me the goat. So I have to call like my gypsy cousin up in uh, uh, Syracuse. He drives this goat down in a fucking Toyota Tercel. Oh, wow. So in an actual in, in a, car. In a car, in a dog's cage. Wow. And we give him the goat, gives me the cash. He takes the goat live into his basement. And this is here in Astoria. Yeah, it's not like he's... This it, isn't like in the boonies. Rural this is town. like right up here. Yeah. And he goes, uh, he's like, uh, he's like, oh, thank you very much. I was like, do you need me to do this for you? He's like, no, 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 I can do it. So you should explain, because not everybody knows. This is a cultural thing where people kill... Slaughter a goat. Well, for Easter? Well, it's just it Easter? so for him it was for him it was something else. It was a Muslim holiday for oh, us. Muslim. For oh, the okay. Serbs uh, and the Greeks, we do we have uh, a separate Easter. Now they've changed the calendars a little bit, but traditionally our Easter is after uh, American Easter. Yeah. So I go to West Virginia with my Serbian family, and since I was thirteen, I go up to the farm. I grab some lambs. We take them back to my uncle's house. And we butcher them. Right. And that's just something I've been doing since I was 13. Mm -hmm. And that's so, just like a this so this is not a weird thing it's for not me. A weird, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, so after I said yes to the goat, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Right. <laughs> and like, so I see this guy take it down and I know how to do it. No, 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 okay, let's say this too, because we were running short on time. Let's say this too. Zach wasn't always on time with his rent, and this guy would harass him continuously. I almost killed so that guy. Zach. So Zach was kind of <laughs> hoping that this would be oh, a little bit of a bridge gotcha. until the yeah, next payment. You know, yeah. uh, like, you know, killing like he a would, fatted calf kind yeah, of Yeah, like you know would mean? look upon <laughs> him favorably. You want to get biblical, bitch, all right? So, <laughs> like, this guy would control the heat and the cool. Like, oh, yeah, you this remember? This guy owns yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, this guy yeah. owns Zach, and yeah. Zach hated, hated his guts. Oh, my God. And he was hoping this would get. I thought this a was little gonna more, give me a little more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we get him the goat, and he takes it down, and the goat has like a bell on it. It's like cling, like a cowbell. So we hear cling, 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 cling all the way down. It's getting dark, right? So it's like 2 a.m. I go up into my room. I'm like playing video games, and all of a sudden I just hear, like, it sounded like a baseball bat hitting like wet towels. Oh! And it's him chopping it up. I'm like, that guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's just. I've never heard. He's of just murdering it. it. It was so fucked up. Yeah. Oh, I'm going, like, yeah. No, that one was fucked. That's not cool. No, wasn't happy with that at all. Why, why are we talking about this one? I thought we were talking about Pittsburgh. We were supposed to, but he brought this up. <laughs> no, you guys brought the lambs up. <laughs> I didn't bring a lamb up. I don't, Someone I brought a goat up. I didn't bring up the goat. You we brought go, a goat up. No, no, don't you do this to me. He, he moved to all Pittsburgh. Right, he moved to Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Every Sorry. time I'm with this fucking guy, I can't get it off of it. <laughs> All right, we get to Pittsburgh. We'll do a two parter. We're, we get to Pittsburgh. I'll wrap this up quick. We we'll, we get to Pittsburgh. Zachy's having a tough time. We're like, we'll take you out. 
two hundred and ninety pounds. We before. did. We yeah, did. Yeah, we did well too. Oh, we, we had, had a good night. Great we run. had a great, great and night. Great tips. night. Tips were great. Yeah, Money pencil, was great. The pencil hand. Yeah, oh, oh, my God. Yeah, we had yeah, a yeah. great... Yeah, it was the last great. stop on the tour. We had a great yeah, tour. That was, that was good. So we get with Zach, and Zach knows Pittsburgh like the back of his hand. He'd been there a lot. He went to school there, and he'd been working there, and he'd been around a little bit already. And he was like, all right, these are what we could do. We, we ate some great Pittsburgh food. Then we For decided... Man, yeah, then we decided... Oh, man. Man, that was The food was amazing. Yeah, and then we're yeah. like... All right, let's go to a titty bar. Yeah. Let's get Zach some black. Let's like make Zach have fun. Yeah. And he's like, I'm broke and blah, blah, blah. Like, don't worry about it. We got, you know, it's like, it wasn't like an explicit, like, we got you covered, but like, we, we'll, we'll, we got we'll, you you're covered. You're going to have a yeah, good yeah, time yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we'll have a good time tonight. Yeah. So now we're taking care of the drinks. We're getting them, <laughs> you know, we're getting them going. We're sitting to watch like at the stage and uh, Ed goes, is that you? He has smelled so bad. <laughs> and just Ed goes, he, he, you're just so unhealthy. You s- and he's like, that. right after, like right before he said it, a girl was just sitting on his lap that he was like, uh, some uh, girl who was like a waitress there. He's like, yeah, we party with her a few times. And he was chatting this chick up, stinking to high heaven. I mean, the f- her not, she must have had to go in the stripper locker room and spray all that, friend. that mist all over her to get the Zaki peanut smell off of her. Because you said that right after she left because oh, we were smelling them and you were like you are just so unhealthy <laughs> <The onions. laughs> so we go like all right let's go upstairs because they're like a two story we go upstairs we're watching all of a sudden i look around this guy's fucking gone yeah oh, that's i'm right. like where's this guy at he's like oh i think he found someone i thought he was broke <laughs> He spends seven to ten songs back there. No, 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 no. no. It was five songs. You were back there a while. You were back there a lot. I mean, you were probably chatting her up, but you were back there for at least three dances. It was a while. I was like, I thought he was broke. Yeah, (laughs) we both said that. Because we've been like covering our out front. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, so we're not, I'm not going back there and paying that. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Like you're and I would never ask. No, no, no of course. But we never assume ask, yeah. like, okay, so he's broke, but he's getting dead. Then he, this is the best part. Okay, what happens? Go ahead, you tell so us part. We're, we're leaving. We finally, we're just like, we're wrapping up. We're going to, we got to head back and uh, we're out front and we're just like, oh man, what a night. What a fucking night. And we're so all high. Nice. It was we're a just, great, it was a fun night. Uh, we and hadn't we're, seen and each other in a while. Like yeah. at each other, we're all glowing like, man, brothers, man, this is so good. <laughs> and Zach goes, yeah, I know, man. It was so great. It wasn't even really that expensive. <laughs> Zach, plug where you're at in your next shows, oh please. My God. I just want to say I love you guys. Yeah, we I love, love you, you too, man. I'm, I'm glad. I'm Thanks glad for letting I... us kick you in the nuts for 45 minutes. <laughs> what else? What else am I here for? You know what I mean? Plug your show. Uh, you have a show on the yeah, fourth, right? Yes. So uh, if you're in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I will be at Sleepy Cat Urban Winery, uh, and that is on April 4th. That's a seven o'clock show. Check that out, and you can follow me at Zach Petrovich Comedy. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much can it. Can they buy tickets there? Just yeah, follow you on Instagram. Um, tickets, tickets on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You awesome. got a ticket link up there. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. At Josh Ricardo, joshricardo.com. We have announced tons of new tour dates for Working oh, yeah, Class yeah, yeah, Holes yeah. Tour. Yep. Uh, I'll be headlining. Eddie will be featuring on that. It's going to be awesome. We have some amazing venues. So check those out. Ticket links are on the site. Ed. Awesome. Uh, follow me, Ed McGowan Comedy. Go to edmcgowan.com. See all my dates. And email us. Yes, please. Email us. If you have a friend who is also stinky, <laughs> send us a note. If you've been to a strip club and it wasn't really that expensive, also send us a note. <laughs> if you ever lived in a pool hall, send us a note. I have never, I've, I've been riding high. Like, I've lost weight. I've gotten my life right. You look fantastic, dude. You look You so don't good. stink anymore. I don't. Well, I'm well, so proud of you. But not like I'm you so used to. Proud. You look great. <laughs> no, I know. It was I, what you were doing I, to your body that made you smell I know, that way. And I love you guys. I love do you love too. you guys. This I love you too, man. Email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We will see you guys again next week. See ya. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 